nightlife in central Beirut. Two months on, and there is no trace of the war between Lebanon and Israel. The lively character of the Mediterranean city seems undampened. Gemaiza is a mainly Christian neighborhood. In the evening, students of all religions meet here. Hussein Halal, a sound technician, is a regular here. An Israeli bomb destroyed his flat and all of his possessions. He is neither Shia nor a Hezbollah supporter. A lot of our village in the south damaged, and here in Beirut and Dahi, you know, about uh, 10,000 family, they don't have a house to sit on it. And in the south, more than this. So how we said that when? Although both sides accepted a ceasefire under pressure from the UN last August, Hezbollah declared itself victorious. Despite its attacks targeting the militia, Israel failed to disarm them, and the main victims were civilians. Over a thousand people died, and more than 4,000 were injured, most of them in the south of the country. The war lasted 34 days, yet soon Beirut emerged from the chaos. People here are hardened to violence and recover fast. Muslims and Christians have learned to live side by side, but only since they fought each other in the 70s. The historical center was restored after it had been entirely wrecked in the civil war. This time, it has suffered no damage. Scars left by the last bombardments can be seen in the southern suburbs, which are home to the poorer Shia population. The Hezbollah militia had their headquarters here. This is why the suburb was a target for Israeli bombs. We take a tour of the area guided by Zainab Asafar. She is a presenter for Hezbollah's TV channel Al Manar. Both TV studios and her own house were razed to the ground. 180 buildings were destroyed in this area alone. Former inhabitants are still desperately searching for remnants of their homes, and reconstruction is already well underway. Hezbollah is mobilizing its followers for the reconstruction effort. New houses are being built with Iranian money and each homeless family is given 10,000 euros in financial support. Our guide wasn't home when the bomb hit. Hezbollah had warned all the occupants in the house that they must leave. There was no kind of offices here for Hezbollah. So I don't know why the Israelis targeted uh, my building. Well, I, I couldn't uh, regain anything from my house. Uh, I lost something very dear for me, which is my books. Knowing that I'm a language professor and a researcher, so books are so important for me. He, he, he was my student. But he refuses to be shown on camera. Members of Hezbollah's militia prefer to go unnoticed as they know they're considered terrorists in the USA and Israel. Those in charge of the social branch of the so-called Party of God are more outgoing. They help people where the state fails to do so. Now Hezbollah's headquarters are destroyed. Reconstruction is managed from a tent. The government uh, didn't want to help the people and uh, <laughs> uh, they, they, they think that uh, if uh, uh, the people uh, see this catastrophe uh, will make a, 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 a compliment, uh, a, a, some a, a reaction against Hezbollah. Hezbollah remains popular, even though the war was triggered by the actions of its militia. They have organized convoys of lorries to clear up the rubble. 150 bridges were targeted and damaged in the war, and this lack of infrastructure now makes life difficult for all Lebanese. This art exhibition is trying to deal with Lebanon's recent past. One respected artist, whose house in the south was bombed, reveals the deep impact such destruction has had. The paintings aren't simply black and white. There is a professor who teaches at LAU with us who uh, uh, answered the, um, 
they're saying that Hezbollah is a state within a state. She answered that, that Hezbollah is a state within no state or non-state. Is Lebanon a state or a federation of religious cults at war with each other? Does this country have to be a battlefield for foreigners' conflicts? Is there a common identity? Through the use of Western avant-garde, young artists try to tackle these questions. They long for a life in peace, whether in Lebanon or elsewhere. Academic qualifications open the door to emigration, and many young graduates are leaving the country. I think that the gap has increased dramatically between religions after the war. And uh, the economic and uh, the economic situation has really become bad. And as he said, old people are leaving. And I do plan to leave the country if I didn't find a job within a month or two. I think that we must have our own army. The Lebanese army must be in control of all the parts in Lebanon. So um, that's why I think that they should uh, give their weapons to, to, to the government. All Lebanese felt a lot of anger against the uh, Israeli war, especially against civilians and against the infrastructure. So in that sense, in the human sense, uh, there was a lot of uh, unity and a lot of solidarity. Politically, the war, unfortunately, has yani, uh, worsened the debate concerning the arms of Hezbollah, concerning national defense, concerning the internal balance of political power. Hezbollah waged a war in the name of Lebanon without asking the Lebanese first. Many were against it. The country is split and no one can speak in the name of all. I think that Hezbollah have these things in their minds. They want to do Lebanon uh, like Iran. But uh, I think uh, in Lebanon, nobody can do anything without the other. Nobody can live alone, Muslim or Christian. So I think that uh, Hezbollah can't uh, do it. Half the Lebanese are for Hezbollah and the other half are against them. I belong to those that are for them. Tourism lost millions through the war. This Christian Orthodox restaurant owner would like to see the economy thrive in a strong nation. He is convinced that only Hezbollah's militia are ready to defend Lebanon's sovereignty. I'm for Hezbollah because they are patriots like me, but I'm against mixing religion and politics. I want a secular state, just like in Europe, though I know I won't see that happen here anymore. The Europeans are at peace now, but that is only after they have come to terms with the 50 million that died in the 20th century. We don't want to war. We need the peace, you know? But if Israeli come to kill us, important Hezbollah to come to, to see what he can do it about his people. 20 kilometers south of Beirut, fishermen are cleaning up the pollution. Thousands of tons of heated oil flowed into the sea as an Israeli bomb hit a power station. The cleanup had to wait because of the war. Now financial aid and expertise have come from the West, especially from France. This oil spill is reported to be the third worst ecological disaster to hit the Mediterranean. Yet experts are confident that nature will recover. The oil slick isn't very widespread. If the cleanup is conducted thoroughly, there should be no long-lasting damage. We're talking about heavy oil here, which doesn't dissolve easily in water. That's why it doesn't spread. It will only be dangerous for animals that come in direct contact with it. Just a couple of meters further away, and there are no danger. They won't get poisoned. Nature should have recovered within a year, experts believe. 
However, the damage will take longer to erase at the archaeological site of Byblos. Scars left by the war have been engraved forever in the turbulent history of Lebanon.